All right, here we go. Charlamagne, welcome back to Vlad TV. Vlad, what's up, my guy? Oh, man, this is my original repeat guest on Vlad TV. <laughs> yeah, we've been rocking for a long time. I've been knowing Vlad for, like, I think, like 20 years now. 20 years. At least. 20 years. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Way before Vlad TV, actually. Yeah, when you was doing the uh, the beef the beef mixtapes. Yep. And you was putting my stuff on the beef mixtapes. But yeah, I was I was coming to Vlad before Vlad was the 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 multi million dollar conglomerate it is now. Multi multi million dollar media empire it is now. And vice versa. I was rocking with Charlemagne before he was the you know, had all the radio shows and the syndication and the BT and the Black Effect and the, the Crystal Restaurants and that's whatever right. else you have that's been going on that I haven't been keeping track of. No, I reference um I always reference that one uh the one conversation I had up here after I got fired from Philly. I think I either came here the same day I got fired or like the very next day. Yep. And it's just like I, yep. I you know, you go back and watch that. I prophesied everything that you know, uh, uh, came to be. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Well, let's get into what's happening right now. And, you know, we had our last interview, like, I think two years ago, and I was on Brilliant Idiots about a year ago, so we haven't caught up in a while. But a lot has happened in both of our lives since then. And I think the biggest thing is that Angela Yee has left The Breakfast Club. Yep. Now, what exactly, you know, straight from the horse's mouth, what was the reason that, sh you know, Angela left the Breakfast Club because I know Angela really well. I had done her show on lip service before she even, you know, joined the Breakfast Club and you guys became what you are. And, you know, I've been cool with both of y'all forever. So straight from you, what was the reason that she finally left? I think people wanted to be something salacious, you know, but it's, but it's not like, you know, she left Breakfast Club because she got the opportunity to do her own nationally syndicated show, you know, Way Up With Angela Yee is a nationally syndicated show. It comes on, you know, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. right after The Breakfast Club. And I mean, I think that's a, that would be hard for anybody to pass up. I mean, we, we've all been doing The Breakfast Club. We're, we're in our 13th year now. And, you know, Angela Yee never got the opportunity to host her own show on terrestrial radio. Of course, she had, you know, uh, what was it, The Morning After, on Shade 45, and that was kind of like after Cypher Sounds left. I think she, if, I, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm remembering this correctly, she was Cypher Sounds co-host, and then when Cypher Sounds left, she kind of like inherited that show. You know, made it her own, of course. But for me, I had my own morning show in Philadelphia. You know, I've had my own radio shows in South Carolina for terrestrial radio. Envy, you know, he's had his own afternoon show on Power 105, one in New York. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to pass up the opportunity to be the only, the only syndicated black woman at iHeart, if I'm not, yeah. Yeah, I don't think that, yeah, there's no other sister at iHeart with a, her, their own syndicated radio show. So I think it was just kind of, that that's a great opportunity. Why not take it? And when you've been doing something for 13 years, everybody don't have the same, um, you know, the same way of doing things. Like I like getting up in the mornings to do morning radio, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. It, ha it has, I have not gotten tired of it yet. You know, maybe for her, you would have to ask her, but maybe it's something that she just didn't want to do anymore. You know, you get to wake up a couple hours later, come in and do your show the way that you want to do it. Like, why not 